welcome back to Rigged Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Taurus. Let's call in Spirit with some wind chime time. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Taurus. And let's see, I think we're actually in your birthday time frame. So happy birthday. Hope you're having some wonderful and safe celebrations. All right, we are going to use the Golden Art Nouveau to get started for you today. Do we have for Taurus, please? Starting off with the King of Wands. So, Taurus, there is... Shut up. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking crazy. King and Queen of Wands. First two cards out. All right, good cards, good cards, good cards. <laughs> okay, so we have the Eight of Swords and the Lovers. Taurus, there is somebody here who feels like they don't have any agency, they don't have any control over the situation, or maybe they don't even understand the details of the situation um, because somebody else here is the person who gets to make the decision. I kind of get that we've got a masculine energy who is a little scared not sure if he's getting the boot, and a feminine energy who is making a decision whether or not to invest further. There's the King of Swords and the Seven of Wands. This decision, It's not an easy one to make, but it feels to me like this feminine energy is seeing the masculine energy, the king of wands, as a king of swords. They're feeling like the energy or mood that this masculine brings into their environment or sphere bubble is negative. Look at his face. What a party pooper. <laughs> um... He may be going through a lot. He may feel betrayed. He may feel like from every angle he's having to defend himself. So with the Seven of Wands, I'm also getting that this feminine energy just feels like the timing isn't right. Like there is love here. These two people came out at the same exact time, you guys. Like, And yet, look at their faces. One has a stink face, and the other one is like, look at my sunflower. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's definitely somebody here who is struggling, and someone else who is making the best of it. Oh my. All right. For hidden energy, we have the Seven of Swords. There may be an effort here to be a little bit sneaky about, <laughs> about walking away and having a new beginning. I don't feel like there's been a final conversation here. There's something that's a little bit unresolved. There may be hope on both people's parts that maybe there's still hope somewhere down the line. But until this masculine energy can get into smoother waters and stop letting his negative emotions upset the boat that they are both in, this love offer will be rejected. Shut up.
Empress and Emperor. They came out together. This is a different masculine. This is a more mature masculine. The feminine energy here, Taurus, if that's you, you're a badass. And I got mad respect for you because this is somebody who has been through a lot. This is somebody who is able to maintain their love and compassion for others after or despite a lot of being shit on by stupid people <laughs> who don't see her worth. But this guy does. Taurus, this other masculine energy here could be somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Who, upon hearing that you have walked away from this other masculine energy, is going to come in with the quickness. It's going to be like, she's single? We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You guys, this is kind of an insane reading in a really good way. This is showing progression, you guys. We have nine to ten. Not only that, we have almost there to, you fucking passed the test, bruv. <laughs> like, you did it. And this new beginning that this Queen of Wands wants is like a platform. It It's showing off her brilliance to everyone. It's like radiating from her. She's independent, she's wise, and she's successful. Well, she's a Queen of Wands, so she's damn hot too, so. What's up, girl? You like tarot readers? <laughs> All right, here we have the magician. Two things here, okay? Because we've got a low vibe and high vibe going on, right? Somebody here tried to manipulate the situation. There might have been gaslighting. There might have been outright lies. There might have been. trying to omit things or massage things into being better than they were. This is from that King of Wands because here we have somebody in red with no facial hair. Now, that doesn't mean you or your person has no facial hair and you're wearing red, unless you work at Target. But we've got no facial hair and red on the king of swords the king of wands whereas the emperor has facial hair he's still wearing red but this is not the same guy this is a mature guy and the other meaning aside from king of wands dude trying to manipulate the situation and inevitably the empress getting wind of it but we also have somebody here who is standing in their power i feel like the high vibe side of this coin is, <laughs> coin, pentacles, okay, um, is that this feminine energy has stepped into her power and realizes just how powerful she is. Like, yeah, I think I have a crush on myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, she can do whatever she wants. She's a manifester. She is good with words. She knows how to handle her emotions and transmute pain. This is a powerful person. But there's a frustration on this feminine's part because the offer that she deserves has taken a while in transit. I got stopped at the border. 
because this emperor has had to get over some emotional confusion or um, not choose the wrong cup. All right, I hope that helps you, Taurus, and that you have a wonderful rest of your day.